Hi, Tyrese. I'm Desiree Hadley from Urban Girl Magazine. And I just want to say thank you for just doing this interview and allowing us to be here today. Um, so I do want to mention, I did read on the website that Voltron is offering back to school success kits, which I thought was really awesome. And that's, you know, that's amazing because I went to HBC, I went to Hampton um, for undergrad, and I know how challenging it is getting back and forth from Jersey to Virginia. So I think that's amazing. And I know you were offering um, travel vouchers or some type of plane tickets to students. That's great. So, and I also wanted to mention, you mentioned the film that you did with Terrence Howard. And I know um, it sounded like it really opened your eyes to be more, a lot, it motivated you more to even want to offer these uh, funding to students going to HBCU. So my question is, HBCUs are often overlooked when it comes to financial support and things like that. So what inspired you to say you want to focus on sending students of color to black colleges and paying for that and, and making sure they have the funding to get there? Yeah, well, I mean, there's two things. Um, how often do you see online that there's a fundraiser to keep a prison open? Um, how often do you see online that they're doing a fundraiser to keep a white, a predominantly white school open. After school programs in predominantly white neighborhoods, no fundraisers to keep those open. So we always get the scraps and the pieces that's left. And I just, who's directing and did this and that, but I'm in a different place right now where everything that I do, I try my best to, I call it a heartbeat. You know, like what, why did I do this movie? I did this movie not because I was gonna be opposite Terrence Howard. Um, I did this movie as a deterrent. I said, the amount of fans and followers and supporters I have, there's gonna be people that's never gonna know what it's like to be on the inside until they see me on the inside. And I did not wanna glorify it. I did not wanna make it look like the coolest thing ever. You didn't see my teeth in the movie once. It wasn't a bunch of homies playing dominoes, taking cracking jokes and making look like, making look making jail look like the coolest thing ever. I wanted to be in the most uncomfortable and most vulnerable place in space. Um, and you'll see that I didn't do this film to glorify what it is to be in prison. Um, so everything that I do has, I got to look for my way in it. I got to, how do I get in it? How do I make this make sense for me? And this third good marshal, I just love, love, love who they are, what they stand for, how authentic they are, how consistent they are. And as George said, when they called me back, I was so happy to be on Zoom with them. And I felt like, I felt smarter being on the call with them because everyone is so <laughs> man, I could me to interview with Steve Harvey and have one of y'all on the phone with me, man. No one could ever question the credibility in and around what we're doing. Um, and, you know, it also made me feel good to know that we and our intentions passed the sniff test, you know, because they're not going to say yes to everybody that calls saying that they want to align themselves with them. You know, they got to protect their brand and credibility. So they put us through all these questions and, you know, wanted to know the context and the backstory. And, you know, we checked off every, bo every box, you know, it was like a mechanic coming in and wanted to look at the engine. What you got going on up in here? And what do you intend to do with this connection and association? And it just, it just made me feel that much better and it became such an amazing confirmation on my spirit that that this is something i'm supposed to do 
So we will not be successful with putting black and brown people through school um, unless you guys go crazy on these interviews and articles and, and help us to put this intention on the map. So we're really grateful for y'all being here. Thank you, Terry. Thank you. Well, oh, they're getting cotton mouth talking so much. <laughs> and by the way, I will be cutting the special here.